There are a series of initial instruction pages. You have 10 minutes to read these before the exam automatically begins. This is the main screen in your digital workspace. It introduces you to the exhibits you will use to complete the requirements set within the exam. The numbers match the exhibits on the left-hand side of the workspace. This screen can be resized using the splitter bar. This is your exhibit list. Clicking on each one opens it in a new window. You can close exhibits by clicking on the X. These are your question requirements, which open and close in the same way. And these are your response options, where you will answer the requirements. Word processor and spreadsheet. You can move and resize the exhibits, requirements and response option windows. Let's explore other functionality within the workspace. Currency symbols are accessed by selecting the symbol button. You can highlight information within the exhibits and requirements in a variety of colours. Choose the text you wish to highlight and select your colour. You can also strike through text. Select the required text and click on Strike Through. You can remove both of these annotations by selecting the relevant text and clicking on Strike Through a second time or by selecting Remove Highlight. There is an on-screen calculator that you can switch between standard and scientific mode. Most students choose to bring their own calculator to the real exam. This is permitted, providing it does not have the facility to store or display text. There is a scratch pad where you can make notes. These notes are retained throughout the exam. However, they are not submitted for marking. You can close all open windows by selecting Close All on the main screen in your digital workspace. Any answers you have entered into the response options or highlighting you've done on the requirements or exhibits will be saved. The Flag for Review button allows you to mark a question for review later in the exam. The Navigator button allows you to move between questions and to view questions you have flagged for review. Here you can see question one, which we just flagged. You can also use the previous and next buttons to move through the exam. This button gives you access to guidance on how to use the workspace, the formulae sheet, or tax tables relevant to your exam, as well as a copy of the exam instructions. Its name will be specific to the exam you're taking. When you've finished the exam, click Next at the bottom of the workspace. You'll see the item Review screen, which gives you the opportunity to review or revisit your answers before you exit. It also confirms that you have attempted each of the requirements. Click End Exam to submit your answers and confirm you wish to do so. A confirmation screen signals the end of the exam.